Wow! This is the perfect video to illustrate what we're up against. It's an hour long, so I'd recommend reading this thread first. This is what afflicts the enemies of Donald Trump. The hallmark of narcissistic personality disorder is that these people never stop lying, even when they see that the lies aren't working. Those of us who support Trump often say that his enemies would lie about their actions caught on video. And here we see it. A prostitute marries an idiot, and then she tries to have him murdered. The solicitation for murder is recorded on video. The cops show it to her husband, and she tells him that none of it is true. This explains what's happening to our country now. The tape of the prostitute telling her husband that he didn't see and hear what he saw and heard is exactly what the Democrats and the press are doing to us. Gaslighting. There's no cure for narcissistic personality disorder, and the lies aren't even clever. The person simply doggedly refuses to admit the truth, and the lies become less and less rooted in reality. This may be the only time this was caught on tape. The prostitute says, I want to go home. The cops say, you can't. You're under arrest. The prostitute replies, but I want to go home. What do I have to do to go home? There's no changing of the person's mind. They ignore evidence, they lie, and they gaslight. And they will never stop. Trump simply exposed how many such people are in politics and the press. This is why reform isn't possible. The Democrat Party and the press, as they now exist, will have to die. They have to rebuild from the ground up. Trump knows this, which is why he orchestrated his own impeachment and the now inevitable nomination of Bernie Sanders. I'm seeing lots of articles about how finally Trump is clearing his administration of saboteurs. Why didn't he do it before, people asked. Because he was using them. How hard is this to understand? This piece in Axios is yet another that refuses to credit Trump with agency, meaning his own ability to act. Quote, Since Trump's Senate acquittal, aides say the president has crossed a psychological line regarding what he calls the deep state. He feels his government, from justice to state to defense to homeland security, is filled with snakes. He wants them fired and replaced ASAP. End quote. Please. Trump knew that long before he ran for president. It's hard to figure out all the purposes that Trump's strategy serves, but I'll tell you what I know so far. Demolish the Democrat Party as it exists. Demolish the press as it exists. Reign in the power of the presidency. Force Congress to do its job. Expose the lawlessness of government bureaucrats. Abolish the administrative state. Reign in the power of activist judges. Clearly delineate the roles of the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. Force the federal government to adhere to the Constitution. Deweaponize the tools of corrupt politicians. Reduce the power of unelected bureaucrats. Abolish the leak culture that cripples presidents' attempts to implement their agendas. Prevent future lawless presidents who govern by fiat. Abolish federal red tape. Strengthen individual freedoms, abolish the ruling class, return power to the voters, and so on. Trump used his first term to fool his entrenched enemies into destroying themselves. The Judas goats played a central role. We don't know who they are, but I'm sure that some of them would blow our minds. But the thing to remember is that Trump's enemies can't be converted. I'm not talking about people who don't like his tweets. I'm talking about the people who hate Trump and who lie about him, even after their lies are exposed. These people are exactly like the prostitute who tried to murder her husband. Before her second trial, 
Her lawyers told her to develop a lisp that they felt would make her seem like a little girl. Look at this lawyer. Makes your skin crawl. When you have time, watch that hour-long documentary about the prostitute with narcissistic personality disorder. You'll finally understand the hatred of Trump. And you'll finally understand how Trump cuts them down like a scythe going through weeds. The end.